Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to BFL Reacts. Last time we had that great surprise crossover with Gravity Falls that was just totally out of left field and super fun. And this episode is titled Marcy at the Gates, and I assume it's like a one twenty-two minute episode, which I'm very excited for because the last one we had of those was very good. And I think I've actually seen this episode's title mentioned before. Like online and on Twitter and stuff. I think that this is like supposed to be the best episode of the show or something. So I'm very excited. <laughs> like su super pumped to get into this. I just assume that we'll be seeing Marcy at the gates of Newtopia. A very self-explanatory title. I'm just super pumped. We really don't know anything about Marcy. Except that she was friends with Anna and Sasha. Which would maybe lead you to believe she's not a super nice person. But maybe... Sasha was manipulating her, like, like Anne, kinda. I don't know, but she was also the one that wanted to get the music box, the Calamity box, right? So maybe she, like, knew about it in some way. Or maybe it was just a coincidence. If, like, she knowingly brought them to, to, to Amphibia or something, that would be insane. <laughs> I doubt that's the case, but I'm very excited to find out. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Oh, boy. And three, two, one, go. Oh, we still get the opening this time. They're almost there, man. Good. Is that the first time we heard her talk? I love her already. She was super smart. Oh, smart nerd. Super oblivious. And Like, maybe the clumsiest person alive. I bet she's changed, though. I bet she's very capable now. Ooh. Not what I was expecting. Let's get down there. My feet are soaked. Now this. Kind of sucks. Is that a geyser? Huh? Hey, what do you think made these holes? Mm, better not to ask. Come on. I feel like this is gonna come back later. <laughs> nice little meta meta acknowledgement there, Polly. You can't come in here. Utopia's closed. <laughs> okay. Closed? Like closed, closed, or like closed for lunch? The city is closed, closed to all outsiders until the barbarians are gone, of course. Close the whole city because of a few little ants? Okay. <laughs> Big ants. <laughs> Elbow drop. Dude, there's a lot more where that came from, though. You gotta take out the queen. Aw, Bessie. Starting to feel a bit antsy. Bit antsy. That's gotta be Marcy. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Ah. That's one cool note. Aw, she's still clumsy. Yeah, I didn't really stick the landing. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the utopian rope can hold an average human girl for uh, 2.3 seconds. Ah, I love her voice. Pencil strength. Marcy? Yo! Man, oh. <laughs> is that really you, Marcy? I can't believe it. It's you, me, Tim. <laughs> oh, I know I missed you so much. Aww. <laughs> oh, I missed you too. A much different welcome than uh the Sasha one. Oh, Spring, come on. Look at this outfit. It's nuts. It is badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you it? Yeah, right, no more. Oh. <laughs> You're in water, girl. Are they your surrogate frog family? Did they find you and take you in? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As I thought, 62 centimeters. Yep. 
All brain. Judging <laughs> from the size of your cranium and flecks of sediment, you're from Frog Valley, right? You can tell all that from my head. She's like insanely smart. You found a farming community. Oh. Ooh. Those legs should be coming in in about. Disgusting. Two months, give or take. Can I get that in writing? Oh yeah, absolutely. Are we gonna see Polly with legs? You're not poisonous, are you? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Dude. Wait, really? Yeah, I literally actually don't know. I will <laughs> iodine that later. Anyway, I just roleplayed like your typical artificer rogue, and next thing I know, boom! I'm the chief ranger. Her gamer skills have let her thrive. Yeah, shut up, Blair. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that book say pacifism? And this is my friend Anne. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, just still can't believe you're here. <laughs> Anne, quit it. All right. Head pets. What you do? You work directly for the king of Amphibia? Uh huh? Spring, behave yourself. I didn't even know you guys had a king. Yeah, oh, uh, Hot Pop's like kind of leading a revolution, right? This is dangerous. Oh, and Sasha and Grimes were coming here. These are stink shrooms. Stink shrooms. Uh, on. They're designed to release pheromones that should drive the queen away instantly. Careful, if one thing goes wrong, what? <laughs> Girl. Uh, marbles? This sounds pretty dangerous. We did stuff like this all the time in the valley. To the max. <laughs> oh, honey, and a banana. I'll be fine. I love their nicknames for each other. Remember? Mm -hmm. Your cape's on fire again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Surely you don't trust this Marcy person. I do. With my life, actually. I do too. Look, Sprig. She's clearly harmless. <laughs> They're making me not trust her now. I trust her, dude. I'll be I'll be kind of upset if she's evil. Okay, we should be arriving there shortly. Marcy, Girl, she's dead. About to be betrayed, probably. Hold up, stay behind me. Behind, eh? Just where a maybe backstabber would want to be. Sprig, chill. Seriously, let us handle this. You'll be safer in the back. I gotta say, I do feel pretty safe back here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's back. Girl. Ooh. Hop <laughs> up. Oh my god. Holly, no! You. That's disturbing. Also, the queen is nearly blind, but hears really well. So be very. They've dealt with that recently. Marcy's gonna trip immediately. Huh? Um, saving you from a giant rock that was about to crush you. Well, you didn't have to. I was about to get out of the way myself. No, you weren't. I have to protect you, like I always do. Ah, uh, I'm conflicted. Ah, uh, I'm so conflicted. Ah! Horrifying. Oh, rip sprig. And you gotta let her prosper, girl. Oh. And I don't. I don't want to lose you again. I won't. I promise. Okay. Do people ship them? Do I ship them? Who knew these ants were so bouncy? You go, girl. Her eyes were green. I saw it. Oh no. Rad as hell. Thanks for having my back. Not that you needed it. You're right. You really have changed. Uh, you're on fire again. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on! There wasn't even any fire this time! <laughs> I was 
wrong about you. You're no backstabber. Hey, I'm just glad you're okay. It's obvious you mean a lot to Anne. They're gonna be immediately arrested when they go inside, aren't they? Cool design. Olivia? The king sends his greetings, Marcy. Lady Olivia? <gasps> Meet Anne, one of the friends I was telling you about. Hmm, turns out she got transported to Frog Valley. Uh huh. <laughs> and these are the planters. Oh no. Hey there. Hello, we can bow too. Your Highness. Whoa. Oh. I don't. Yes. Well, <laughs> I don't understand. How'd you get so smart? What's your cloak made out of? What's in this pouch? Where'd you get that wrist thing? What was Anne like back home? Ooh, I want to know that too. I want more. Flashbacks. So you haven't found a way home either, huh? No. Hmm. You know, it's funny. I've been hoping to find you for so long, but now that I actually found you, I have no idea what to do next. <laughs> we have to find Sasha. Oh, actually, I did find Sasha. We uh, Ooh. we had a fight. Yeah, that was rough. Was it bad? So what now? I don't know. Back home, Sasha always decided the plan. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's time we started making our own decisions, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's worked out for us so far, right? Come on, Anne. Let me see that power pose. Ah, uh, I'm loving this moment. I'm Marcy Wu. And, uh, I'm Anne Boontroy. And, and together, together, we're gonna find Sasha, Sasha and find a way home. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. The pieces are starting to fall into place. It's time. For the game to begin. Was that fucking like Keith David? What the hell? I gotta look up if that's Keith David. It was Keith David, I just saw it in the credits. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a surprise. Alright, just to keep it a buck. I thought that uh the season one finale was better than this episode. But this was still a really great episode. I like Marcy a lot, I like her voice, I like her design, I like her gimmick. Kind of, I don't know, one weird thing about this episode. Let me get comfy because with these types of episodes I talk a lot. <laughs> the The conflict between Sasha and, or not Sasha, between Anne and Marcy was a bit weird to me. Like, sure, I get that Marcy is super capable, right? And that's dope. That's awesome that she's grown a bunch since she's come here. But she's still, like, insanely clumsy. She lit herself on fire, like, three or four times. And she was constantly falling down holes and just, like, chilling while monsters were creeping up on her and stuff. And if Anne hadn't intervened, like, uh, who knows what could have happened, you know? So, like, I totally understand Anne's, like, hesitance to let Marcy do her thing. But, you know, we, we also know that somehow Marcy has made it out of these situations in the past, having, you know, a 100% success rate on, on previous missions. So, I don't know, that was just like a weird conflict, like, which isn't a bad thing. It, it's not a bad thing that's a weird conflict. It's, I, I can see both sides. I can understand Anne, you know, being hesitant, and I can understand Marcy being like, let me prosper. You know, it's easy to want, like, you know something where something a little more black and white where marcy is like clearly capable and anne is like freaking out for no reason because because that just makes more sense you know who's right and who's wrong whereas this one it, it, it was a little more there was a little more to it and i i really appreciated that i i was conflicted on it surprise keith david was was really interesting and not expected whatsoever i i have like a complaint or a question i don't like under i don't know if it's a complaint i just don't understand what is like the social hierarchy here like hop hop was wanted for like inspiring revolution amongst frogs right and the newts rule so were the newts the one that put the bounty on hop hop's head or was that all grimes doing because like grimes and his people worked for the newts right and that's why uh, that one newt was going after him because he had, like, deserted his post or failed or whatever, right? I don't know. It, it kind of feels like they forgot about the Hot Pop revolutionary thing to me because it hasn't really been addressed this season. But I don't know if it's a they forgot it or it, it's just not really relevant anymore. 
or if it's me misunderstanding the social hierarchy here. I I don't know. Yeah, the surprise Keith David was super cool, obviously. I love Keith David's voice. He's great at what he does. I believe he was listed as the king in the credits. I'm not going to go back and look, but it it seems very clear that he has some kind of malicious intent. And he he's very clearly like in control of the situation at least right now. They were literally like pawns in a game of chess. I mean, you can't really get any more on the nose than that, right? But what are his plans for for them? I I don't know. This episode gave me a lot of questions. Do we ship Ann and Marcy? Is that what we do around here in Amphibia Town, folks? I don't know. I haven't seen enough of them to decide if I do or if I just like them as friends. I'll have to see more of their relationship dynamic before I decide how I feel about that. I'm not usually the, the type of person that just like ships people on site like that. Uh, I'll, need, I'll need to see their, their dynamic build a little bit more before I decide how I feel about that. But if you do or don't, by all means, do your thing. I have no problem with people having their own headcanons on any kind of ships, personally. None of it matters, they're not real people. <laughs> but yeah, super excited for how the show is going to go forward. We're in like this new setting. The travel arc is over, I guess. Marcy is here and not hostile. She's a friend, an ally. So maybe she's going to be like a more permanent member of the cast than Sasha was. Something I'm not, not at all opposed to. I would bring a fresh dynamic to the show. Just very excited to see see where things are going now. I, I'm super into it. Let's see what the next episode is called. Scavenger Hunt and the Planters Check-In. Who knows? I mean, Scavenger Hunt, obviously they'll be looking for something in the city, I guess. The Planters Check-In, I don't know, do they leave Newtopia? And stop at an inn, or are they checking into like some kind of living facility in Newtopia? I don't know. I assume it's probably a movie reference going by the previous titles for episodes in this show. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for hanging around. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.